In 1890, the Sioux Ghost Dance, a cargo cult, takes place. The U.S. Army overreacts, and the Wounded Knee tragedy happens. Many historians consider Wounded Knee as the end of the American Indian War. In 1903, a Sioux hunting party numbering 32 men and 30 women left the Pine Ridge Reservation. After hearing about this transgression, Wesson County Sheriff Miller formed a posse to arrest the Native Americans for illegal hunting. On October 23rd, near Lance Creek, 12 Sioux were arrested without bloodshed. The sheriff had a heated argument with Chief Charlie Smith, ending in a firefight. Sheriff Miller, one deputy, Chief Charlie Smith, and four Sioux died. To some historians, this little firefight should be considered the end of the American Indian Wars. But in 1918, U.S. Buffalo soldiers had a small scrimmage with Yaqui Indians along the U.S.-Mexican border. This firefight can be considered the last American Indian War or a run-in with Mexican Revolutionary Bandits. In 1928, there was a Mexican-Yaqui War. This conflict is outside the scope of this study.